I'm Dr. Luay Nasri. I'm the chair of pediatrics. Also, I'm the president of the Fort Smith Islamic Society and the vice chair of the Fort Smith Interfaith Committee. I'm honored to deliver the prayer this morning on this wonderful celebration of your entering your medical career. Would everybody stand, please? In the name of God, the most merciful, most beneficent, we thank you, God, for all the blessings you bestowed upon us. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to learn a small fraction of your knowledge. God, lead us, lead us to the right path where we continue our journey for seeking more of your knowledge. God, please give us the will, perseverance, and empathy to help all humans maintain their good health and treat their illnesses to the best of our ability. God, through wisdom, we work each day to enrich our minds and satiate them with the taste of the world around us. Through wisdom, we become aware of the universe around us. Through wisdom, we immerse ourselves into a world that veils and reveals the divine image. Our questions are many, but our answers are few. Our ponderings are many but our solutions are few. Our schooling is finite, but our learning is infinite. God, please make all our deeds blessed by you. You're the God of knowledge. You're the God of healing. You're the God of mercy. You created us. You know every last minute part of us. You know our souls. You know our fears and desires. God, please shed thy grace on us. God, please engulf us in thy mercy. God, we thank you for all your blessings. Amen. Be seated, please. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. McLean, the Dean of the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine. Uh, for those who are joining us online, I want to thank family, friends, and guests, and everyone who's uh, tuning in remotely uh, for today's virtual white coat ceremony. We wish that you could be here with us, but in this situation, we, we have to make the best that we can. So thank you guys for joining us online. Uh, I want to begin today by introducing the platform party. So uh, platform party, please stand as I uh, call your name. First, Dr. Kyle Parker, the CEO of the Arkansas College of Health Education. And Dr. Brian Kim, president of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. And Dr. Chris Greer, physician and AIC Board of Trustees member. Uh, student Dr. Madison Landers, our ARCOM student body president. Mr. Fraser Edwards, the executive director of the Arkansas Osteopathic Medical Association. Dr. Louis Nasseri, chair of pediatrics of the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine. Uh, Dr. Melissa Eford, associate dean of academic affairs. Dr. Elizabeth McLean, Vice Provost and Associate Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ms. Laurel Starling McIntosh, Senior Assistant Dean of Student Affairs. Dr. Ross Longley, Associate Dean of Biomedical Sciences and Research. Dr. John Seeley, Associate Dean of Clinical Medicine. Dr. Donald Sefchik, 
Assistant Dean of Clinical Medicine. All right, everyone please be seated. Now Dr. Leslie Ziegler, Assistant Professor of Internal Medicine and Dr. Zachary Throckmorton, Associate Professor of Anatomy, who are our honorary class marshals. Uh, please stand, be recognized. Thank you. Uh, one of the keys to our student success is our outstanding faculty. Uh, it's my pleasure to recognize these professionals who strive to give the students the best education they can. Uh, Archon faculty, uh, please stand and be recognized. Thank you guys again for everything you do for our students. Uh, also want to acknowledge administration who's here today with us from the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education. Mr. Tom Webb, our Chief Operating Officer. Mr. Dennis Bauer, Chief Financial Officer. Mr. Les Smith, Chief Business Strategy Officer. Mr. Joel Webb, Chief Technology Officer and members of our Ake Board of Trustees. Please join me in thanking them for their robust support of our mission. <laughs> now it's my pleasure to bring Dr. Parker, our CEO, to the podium for a few words of welcome. Thank you, Dr. McLean. Aren't you jealous I get to take a mask off for a minute? Um, my name is Kyle Parker. I am the uh, Chief Executive Officer of the Arkansas Colleges of Health Education, and I would like to welcome you. And also on behalf of the Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and the staff, it's my honor to welcome you, the class of 2024, to the White Coat Ceremony. It's not exactly what he expected today to happen, but we are certainly thrilled that we can continue to move forward. With us today, we have families and friendly, friends that are all over the world that are watching you. They're watching you live. So to everybody that's joining us today with iPhones and tablets and computers, welcome to this portion of Fort Smith, Arkansas. Thank you for trusting us with your students, with your student, your children, and know that although we're not together in person, we're gonna celebrate this incredible achievement that these students have done. This morning I was contemplating what it really meant. We almost had 5,000 applications for people that wanted to be in one of these 150 seats. You're the top 3% of that class of applicants. And you're in the top 1% of the most intelligent people in the world. But I want you to always understand, you didn't get here by yourself. Your parents sacrificed, your grandparents sacrificed, your brothers, your sisters, they sacrificed for you so that you could realize your dream. I don't know where these cameras are right now, but what I would like, if you don't mind, is for you to stand, turn around, wave, and say thank you for the sacrifice you made so I could sit in this seat today. Stand up. Okay, you can sit down. I can tell you that there are some buttons bursting off of people's shirts. They are so proud, and rightly so, of the sacrifices you made to get in this chair. It's my hope and my prayer that you will serve others, 
throughout your entire lifetime that you will care for those that need your help so badly. I promised you when you were applying, this would be the hardest thing you ever go through academically in your life. I can promise you, you'll go through things that you'll look back on and say, this was a piece of cake compared to what I'm going through today. But if you always keep your ethics, your spirituality, your health, and your wellness at the forefront, you're going to be an example for others to follow. That's enough of that or I'll get emotional. Again, welcome to ARCOM. For those watching throughout this nation and in parts of the world, be proud of your students. Hug them from a distance and hug them when you get back close to them. Tell them you love them because I can promise you they love you. Again, welcome students. Congratulations. We're very proud of you. And to the new class of 2024. It's not long, guys. Blink your eyes. It'll be over. Believe it or not. I now have the pleasure to introduce you to the, one of the violinists today. You've met him before. Uh, this is the Honorable Dr. Brian Kim, the president of AIC. Good morning. Welcome students, faculty, distinguished members of the administration, and most of all, family and students. This is a momentous occasion for our students, and I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to this white coat ceremony for the class of 2024. As you receive your white coats today, I hope you realize that this celebration is about the beginning to your dream of becoming a physician. I want you to remember that you are not alone on this journey and that every person on the stage and in the audience watching is committed to your receiving the best medical education. Study hard and take care of yourself. Today is World Mental Health Day. But that means not just your mental health, but your physical well-being. In order to take care of others, you have to be in the best possible health that you can be in order to do that and to make a difference. Take care of yourselves always. Beginning today, the title of student doctor is how you should be addressed. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. So again, I get a chance to welcome you to our 2020 white coat ceremony, though it's not what we all envisioned months ago before everything started. We're happy to have everybody here. And, uh, you know, as we've done many times before, we're going to keep going and do everything we can to make everything as special as possible. And the reason I say that is this is one of, in my consideration, the two most special events or ceremonies that you're going to go through uh, with the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine, the other obviously being graduation in four short years. So we appreciate everyone's flexibility. I uh, believe that we all agree there's no way um, that we envisioned it to go like this, but again, thank you for being here and making this celebration as special as we could. So the white coat ceremony itself was an idea conceived by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation uh, to create a psychological contract for professionalism and empathy in medicine. The first white coat ceremony took place in 1993 at Columbia College of Physicians and Surgeons. And since then, uh, more than 90% of osteopathic and allopathic medical schools in the US have initiated similar ceremonies. The white coat itself represents many things, love, caring, help, 
aid, equality, respect, and comfort are just a few. It should always remind you of the enormous responsibility that comes with being a physician. The white coat was originally meant to represent the scientific principles being incorporated into the practice of medicine in the late 19th century. But it also had a very practical function for students. In the past, students would place books, notes, anything relevant to the rotation in the pocket of your white coat. Well, nowadays, you have all these resources at your fingertip with your phone, your smartphone. It easily fits in one pocket. So the white coat itself has undergone a transition. So instead, let your white coat serve as that constant reminder of the learning that you attained in order to don the coat, the knowledge, the skills, the abilities you gain while you're wearing it, a process that will never end throughout the rest of your career. Receiving your white coat means you're accepted and embracing the mantle of the profession bestowed upon you today. So class of 2024, you were selected to enter the osteopathic profession because you have demonstrated the abilities and the character necessary to succeed. Today, I congratulate you on your achievements thus far and those yet to come. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker. This morning, we are blessed to have with us my colleague, Dr. Christopher Greer. Dr. Greer received his Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree from Des Moines University College of Osteopathic Medicine. He's board certified in ophthalmology and is a founding member of the AIC Board of Trustees. He and his wife, Holly, have two children, Elizabeth and Andrew. So please join me in welcoming local physician, AIC board member, Dr. Chris Greer. This doesn't mean I'm going to talk a long time. <laughs> good morning. <clears throat> and this is a very good morning. Dean McLean, Drs. Parker and Kim, AIC faculty, uh, ARCOM faculty, AIC trustees, and of course the class of 2024. It's a high honor to be invited to speak at this morning's White Coat Ceremony. This, of course, is a rite of passage, an important one, where we welcome our newest class and symbolically welcome them into the osteopathic community and recognize their commitment towards becoming dedicated physicians. I'd like to start off by sharing a small story and a perspective. My wife Holly and I moved here 25 years ago, and we were led to believe that Fort Smith was a great place to practice medicine, <clears throat> but also a great place to raise a family. And we found both very much to be the case. Uh, in fact, a month after we arrived, we welcomed our firstborn, Elizabeth, and two years later, we were blessed again with our son, Andrew. Now, all the while they had to grow up, they had to listen to my fatherly mantra many times over that they had God-given intelligence. And they had two parents that will help them all along the way. And with hard work, they can become anything they want to be when they grow up. Just as long as it's a doctor. <laughs> no brainer, right? Well, as it turns out, I'm 0 for 2. Both excelled in school. But they got degrees in tech, have great jobs. They're seemingly very happy. And that's the end game. And we're very proud of them. But along the way, it occurred to me that perhaps becoming a physician wasn't their calling, like it was for me and it is for you. That calling is special. That calling is unique to physicians. It's ours. It goes without saying there's no other profession like medicine. But one of the most unique things about it is that so many of us knew about it at such an early age. Certainly by high school, most if not all of you sensed that calling. You were gravitating towards the sciences, in undergrad, you, you committed to the pre-medical requirements uh, without any guarantee of being accepted. And you were. Here you are. Congratulations. And what lays ahead of you <clears throat> is four arduous years of study, followed by three or more years of postgraduate education, and of course, the financial commitment. Now, 
Persons outside of medicine refer to this as delayed gratification. I beg to differ. The training you're gonna undergo will be among the most gratifying experiences of your life. And it's a rare physician that looks back upon their training and thinks of it as a sacrifice, because it wasn't. It was an opportunity to pursue a dream. It was an opportunity to follow a calling. So <clears throat> all of you were accepted, not just because you're highly qualified to be here, but because of your passion. Now mind you, the curriculum concentrates a great deal of medical knowledge and experience into four very short years, which will go by quickly. Take heart in knowing that it's your calling that will carry you. Now going forward, I'm gonna ask that you remember three things. Balance, collaborate, and adapt. By balance, I mean, believe it or not, your first priority is not your studies. It's your own well-being. Now is the time to nurture and cultivate your faith, your personal relationships, your own mental and physical well-being, and some interests outside of medicine. It's been written that balance is not something that you find. Balance is something that you create. During your training, throughout your training, work at creating your own life balance, your own healthy pace, because you simply cannot sprint a marathon. Collaborate. Group study and interaction is a very important part of medical education. Each of you have your own individual strengths, but you can draw upon the strengths of your classmates, and they in turn can draw upon yours. This concept of collaboration is already introduced to you through TBL, team-based learning. And as you know, there are many spacious study halls throughout the campus. Use them going forward as you create your own study groups. These will help you in ways you don't know yet know. For example, if you're struggling in a class, which happens to all of us at one point, lean on the classmates you study with, and you'll be surprised at the amount of support and encouragement you're going to get, just as you would provide for them. And on the concept of collaboration, this actually goes on for the rest of your careers. Just like there's no student that's an island, no physician is an island. There's no such thing as a physician that practices by themselves. We're continuously leaning on each other, whether it's a colleague down the hallway or getting a formal second opinion or helping out another colleague. We collaborate. It's part of medicine. It part, it's part of making you a superb physician. So collaboration is a concept worth embracing now and seeing the long game and how it's going to play out. Finally, adapt. A great example is ARCOM. Now, on March 16th, Monday, March 16th, I was set to deliver three lectures to our second year class. The Friday before, ARCOM made the nimble decision to convert to virtual education due to the rising pandemic. It was seamless, not just because the technology and the talent was there, because the motivation was there to look out after the well-being of its students. In a word, ARCOM adapted. Now, planning in our country, which lack adequate access to health care, you need to look no further than the region you're in right now. And ARCOM was created specifically to address that need. This represents a very unique opportunity for young, well-trained, and motivated osteopathic physicians, armed with the practice philosophy that wellness is more than the absence of disease and pain, and with a holistic approach and collaboration, you can have a profound and far-reaching impact upon an underserved and deserving population. Ask any physician in this region. They will tell you patients genuinely respect their doctors and appreciate the care that they bring. This is an opportunity you should bear in mind as you go through your training. It's one you don't want to pass up. One last thought is, <clears throat> Carpe annum, seize the year, make it your own as you pursue your calling. And know that the white coat that you're about to accept represents your rising professional stature and represents not just yourself, but your classmates and your school and your profession. Wear it with pride as you're welcomed into the osteopathic community. You've earned this. And so, this class of 2024, all 150 of you, just remember, you have God-given intelligence, and you have an inspired faculty that'll help you along the way, 
and with really hard work, you can become the tremendous osteopathic physician you set out to be. And in doing so, you'll improve my record from 0-2 to 150 to 2. And for that, I will be most grateful. Congratulations, enjoy your day, I salute you, and may God bless this class of 2024. Thank you. Uh, at this time, uh, student Dr. Madison Landers, SGA president from your class of 2023, would like to give a few words of encouragement. So I welcome student Dr. Landers to the microphone. Good morning, class of 2024, along with your virtual families and friends. I am student Dr. Madison Landers, and I serve as ARCOM student body president. I am so grateful that I get to speak to you today for your white coat ceremony, a symbolic moment of stepping into the medical field and starting the journey to becoming a physician. This year, you and other osteopathic medical students across the country have overcome so many unseen adversities. This probably isn't how you pictured getting your white coat or how your first year of medical school would be. I encourage you to take time to be present in this moment. Every day, I'm so thankful that I chose to pursue this path and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You each have traveled different roads, come from different backgrounds, and have lived vastly different experiences, but now you gather as the RCOM class of 2024 because you chose a profession that would allow you to heal others by pursuing lifelong learning. Each of you should take pride in this monumental accomplishment. You have already achieved so much. You have completed half of your first semester, and soon all of those hours in the anatomy lab will be behind you. The days are long, but they fly by. There are going to be ups and downs along the way, but I know each of you are capable of becoming outstanding physicians. Lean on each other when times get hard, and never forget to look to the ones that came before you. There are so many people rooting for your success, whether it be the classes above you, faculty, staff, or the Fort Smith community. As someone that was raised in the Fort Smith area, it amazes me every day that Arcom was built here, and I cannot wait to see the long-lasting impact it has here. Wear your white coat with pride and confidence. You now represent not only the eight community, but the osteopathic community as a whole. Congratulations, class of 2024, and good luck in your journey. So in reference to Dr. Greer and adaptability, we have to adapt sometimes. And right now we're going to adapt, and I'm going to bring up uh, Mr. Fraser Edwards to the microphone because our Arkansas Osteopathic Medical Association president was unable to be with us this morning. And so in his place, we have the executive director from the Arkansas Osteopathic Medical Association, Mr. Fraser Edwards. Thank you, Dr. McLean, and thank you to all the leaders here on stage, the faculty. Um, it's my, it's really an honor to be up here and speaking on behalf of the osteopathic profession. To speak to Dr. Greer's point, my calling was not to practice osteopathic medicine, but to serve osteopathic medicine. And as executive director of the AOMA, I would like to congratulate all the students that will be receiving their white coat today. I realize how hard this journey has been for you to get to this point. Your families, I know, are very proud, like Dr. Parker has mentioned. Enjoy this today. This is a special day in your life and medical journey. The AOMA is dedicated to help further the osteopathic profession in Arkansas, and we've done so over the past 35 years. You are the future of our organization, and ultimately the future of, osteo of the osteopathic profession in the state. And we are excited to provide you with all the support that you'll need in your educational and professional career. The AOMA is proud to donate your white coats to you today. We want you as students to be as involved as you can be with the AOMA. We want you to participate in our annual convention. We want you to rotate with our AOMA members. This is an excellent avenue to gather medical education and further your, your future career. You may find partners, you may find 
opportunities that exist outside of your current paradigm. To show our desire to have you involved, the AOMA has also developed a position on our governing board for one student from ARCOM to be involved in the decisions made by the board. We look forward to having that person be represented on our board. In conclusion, congratulations again. I wish you the very best in your studies and growth as a physician. You have an unbelievable facility and fantastic faculty at ARCOM, and I know that they are doing everything possible to help you succeed in becoming a caring osteopathic physician. Know that you have the full support of the AOMA behind you in all that you do. Thank you very much, and I look forward to serving you in both the association and at the school. Thank you. Hello, my name is Laurel McIntosh, and I'm the Senior Assistant Dean of Student Affairs here at AIC. Thank you all for trusting us with your students. At this time, the coding ceremony will begin. Students, please remember what we went over in practice yesterday and ensure social distance as you begin to make your way to the stage. Student Dr. Rebecca Adler. <laughs> Student Dr. Zaid Ahmed. Student Dr. Abdullah Lazawi. <laughs> Student Dr. Anastasia Almiyashva. Student Dr. Judy Alciad. <laughs> Student Dr. Adam Ali. Student Dr. Maliha Anwar. <laughs> Student Dr. Spencer Arnau. Student Dr. Mark Azam. <laughs> Student Dr. Madeline Baytek.
student Dr. Joshua Bertaldi. Student Dr. Sabella Blanc. <laughs> Student Dr. Caitlin Bradley. Student Dr. Nadia Bradley. <laughs> Student Dr. Shane Brown. Student Dr. Sabrina Brocious. <laughs> Student Dr. Blaze Bulla. Student Dr. Robert Bonaconti. <laughs> Student Dr. Kiyoshi Chandler. Dr. Sabrina Chaudhry. <laughs> Student Dr. Derek Che. Student Dr. Raymond Che. <laughs> Student Dr. Manal Jima. Student Dr. Zarish Chima. <laughs> Student Dr. Samantha Chung. <laughs> Student Dr. Hannah Clark. Student Dr. Ethan Compton. <laughs> Student Dr. Daniel Dowd. <laughs> Student Dr. Dravish Dave. Student Dr. Brooke Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Student Dr. 
Student Dr. Kay Delperdang. Student Dr. Mackenzie Diamond. Student Dr. Andrew Dillard. Student Dr. Chantel Dills. Student Dr. Colleen Dunbar. <laughs> Student Dr. Abby Dwyer. Student Dr. Kelsey Ellis. <laughs> Student Dr. William Farrell. <laughs> Student Dr. Matthew Ford. Student Dr. Edgar Caldames Calderon. <laughs> Student Dr. Michael Games. Student Dr. Tierra Garcia. <laughs> Student Dr. Dominic Cianini. Student Dr. Kaylee Gregory. <laughs> Student Dr. Brandon Grimmer. Student Dr. Lauren Harbaugh. <laughs> Student Dr. Noah Harnicky. Student Dr. Muhammad Hassan. Student Dr. Noreen Hassan. Student Dr. Kelsey Hayes. <laughs> 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 
student Dr. Jalen Hayes-Hill. Student Dr. Austin Henley. <laughs> Student Dr. Shelby Hill. Student Dr. Sarah Homedi. <laughs> Student Dr. Jacob Honeyman. <laughs> Student Dr. Abir Hossein. Student Dr. Spencer Hunt. <laughs> Student Dr. Jedek Bonoba. <laughs> Student Dr. Aaron Inman. Student Dr. Jonathan Eisenberg. <laughs> Student Dr. Roya Jabari and Daraji. Student Dr. Alicia Jacob. <laughs> Student Dr. Lauren James. <laughs> Student Dr. Ryan Jarvis. Student Dr. Kylie Johnson Dunn. <laughs> Student Dr. Wade Johnson. Student Dr. Jarius Gibran. <laughs> Student Dr. Brittany Kaufman. <laughs> Student Dr. Amandeep Kaur. Student Doctor, Student Doctor Samantha Carney. <laughs> Student Doctor Mohammed Irfan Khan.
student Dr. Omar Khan. Student Dr. Ramsha Khan. Student Dr. Ursul Khan. <laughs> Student Dr. David Kim. <laughs> Student Dr. Minla. Student Dr. Daniel Offenberger. <laughs> Student Dr. Laura Lee. <laughs> Student Dr. Amber Lee. Student Dr. Brian Lee. <laughs> Student Dr. Jackie Lee. Student Dr. Christina Magus. <laughs> Student Dr. Angelo Majaik. Student Dr. Tedrick Mangasarian. <laughs> Student Dr. Michaela McGraw. Student Dr. Wafa Mapu. <laughs> Student Dr. Garrett Melton. Student Dr. Ashley Milne. <laughs> Student Dr. Ali Merrick. Student Dr. Calla Mitchell. <laughs> Student Dr. Karthik Madali.
student Dr. Rachel Modersetsky. Student Dr. Syed Mohidan. <laughs> Student Dr. Bianca Moreno Lojano. Student Dr. Kobe Morrison. <laughs> Student Dr. Thomas Model. <laughs> Student Dr. William Mueller. Student Dr. Akash Muthu. <laughs> Student Dr. Adil Muzaffar. Student Dr. Varun Nandamudi. <laughs> Student Dr. Hamad Patel. <laughs> Student Dr. Siobhan Patel. Student Dr. Trent Percy. <laughs> Student Dr. Lauren Peters. Student Dr. Janae Newton. <laughs> Student Dr. John Phillips. <laughs> Student Dr. Michael Phillips. Student Dr. Reed Pogemeyer. <laughs> Student Dr. Andrea Powers. Student Dr. Lauren Powers. <laughs> Student Dr. Dania Prasad. Student Dr. Guadalupe Joaquin Ramirez.
Student Dr. Michelle Alexis Ramirez. Student Dr. Cynthia Rangel. Student Dr. Mohamed Rasuli. Student Dr. Chelsea Ratzliff. Student Dr. Kessini Reed. Student Dr. Benjamin Robke. <laughs> Student Dr. Maddie Roten. Student Dr. Tasneem Saber. <laughs> Student Dr. Pierce Salaria. Student Dr. Victoria Schrock. <laughs> Student Dr. Dimitar Semerjev. Student Dr. Nadia Shadel. <laughs> Student Dr. Shaman Shahab. Student Dr. Myrna Shaker. Student Dr. Alexander Sharam. Student Dr. Mary Schnuda. <laughs> Student Dr. Sherry Shabu. Student Dr. Megan Shoya. Student Dr. Jacob Slowinski. <laughs> Student Dr. Nathan Stedman. Student Dr. Nadine Suleiman. <laughs> Student
student, Dr. Jason Sullivan. Student, Dr. Jackie Tang. <laughs> Student, Dr. Jonathan Thomas. <laughs> Student, Dr. Kayla Thomas. Student Dr. Nga Chung. <laughs> Student Dr. Eric Umbarger. Student Dr. Femi Varghese. <laughs> Student Dr. Christopher Vaughn. Student Dr. Dylan Wester. <laughs> Student Dr. Bella Weimer. Dr. Sydney Wilderman. <laughs> Student Dr. Brianna Williams. Student Dr. Taylor Williams. <laughs> Student Dr. Mohammed Zaman. Student Dr. Winston Zhang. <laughs> Student Dr. Evgeny Zivotowski. Student Dr. Samuel Halim. All right, if I could have all of the student doctors please stand. As members of the osteopathic profession, in an effort to instill loyalty and strengthen the profession, we recall the tenets upon which this profession is founded, the dynamic interaction of mind, body, 
and spirit, the body's ability to heal itself, the primary role of the musculoskeletal system, and preventative medicine as the key to maintain health. We recognize the work our predecessors have accomplished in building the profession. We commit ourselves to continuing that work. We invite all physicians to join the students in their pledge of commitment and recite the pledge with me. And this is in the back of your handbook if you want to follow along. I pledge to provide compassionate quality care to my patients, partner with them to promote health, display integrity and professionalism throughout my career, advance the philosophy, practice, and science of osteopathic medicine, continue lifelong learning, support my profession with loyalty in action, word, and deed, and live each day as an example of what an osteopathic physician should be. You may be seated. This does conclude our ceremony. And again, I want to thank each of you for being here with us today. And everybody who attended virtually, thank you so much for joining us in this celebration of the class of 2024. Uh, to those present, please remember, uh, we cannot congregate out in the lobby. Uh, we need to move on through the lobby. Student doctors, I congratulate you and I welcome you to the osteopathic profession. Class is over, you're dismissed.